Hello from Landio. We have a new 8.27 acre lot with road frontage, utilities, and creek frontage near Sardis Lake. The property has great drive up access and borders Anderson Creek along the southern boundary. This is a view of the 700 feet of road frontage on Southwest 1035th Avenue. Here is a view of Anderson Creek just west of the property. This photograph of Anderson Creek was taken in autumn. The property is only 4.5 miles from Sardis Lake. Sardis Lake consists of over 14,000 surface acres and has 117 miles of shoreline. The calm waters are desirable for boating, water sports, and fishing. Sardis Lake also designates 8,000 acres of land for public hunting. This lake is known for its abundant angling opportunities for crappie, catfish, walleye, largemouth bass, and spotted bass. This photograph of Sardis Lake was taken at sunset. This is Highway 43 that runs along Sardis Lake. This is the 8.27 acre lot highlighted in green. These white dots represent road frontage. You have your 640 feet of road frontage here along the northern boundary. Then you have 700 feet of road frontage on Southwest 1035th Avenue. And you can see Anderson Creek here running along the southern boundary of the property. There are utilities in place along Southwest 1035th Avenue. You can see them here. There are electricity, water, telephone, and internet lines. This is a plat map with the parcel highlighted in green. Here is a zoomed in view of that same plat map. We have our 8.27 acre lot here, and you can see it's lot number one. This is a contour map showing the elevation changes on the property. You can see that the elevation starts at around 640 feet and gently slopes up to around 680 feet. To give you an idea of where this property is located, this is the 8.27 acre lot here. The property is only eight minutes from Yanish, Oklahoma. They have a population of around 150. Then to the south, you have Clayton, Oklahoma. They have a population of around 800. Between these two towns, you will find fuel, supplies, groceries, and other necessities. To the northeast, you have Wilburton, Oklahoma. They have a population of around 2,600. This is about a 33 minute drive from the property. To the northwest, you have McAllister, Oklahoma. They have a population of 18,000. That drive to McAllister is almost all on state highways. That drive to McAllister would take you around 54 minutes. Again, the population in McAllister is 18,000. Here you will find a Walmart Supercenter, Lowe's Home Improvement Store, and a hospital. Pretty much anything you need, you can find in McAllister. The property is two hours and 29 minutes from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa has a population of over 400,000. You are two hours and 55 minutes from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Oklahoma City has a population of over 640,000. The property is about three hours and seven minutes from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Dallas has a population of over a million. For someone living in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, you could leave your home in the morning and be enjoying your property near Artist Lake just before lunchtime. The property is in close proximity to over a million acres of public land, including state parks, state wildlife areas, and the Wachita National Forest. The Wachita National Forest is 1.8 million acres and extends through Oklahoma and Arkansas. At the Wachita National Forest, you can find many recreational opportunities like horseback riding, hiking, fishing, and camping. You can also hunt here. There are hunting opportunities for coyote, river otter, turkey, black bear, bobcat, and white-tailed deer. The property is only 4.8 miles from Highway 2. These are some of the intersections that you will encounter en route to the property. This is the intersection of Highway 2 and Southwest 240th Road. The next intersection that you will encounter is Southwest 240th Road and Southwest 1035th Avenue, which is the road to property. This is only 0.8 miles from the property. Here's another view of that intersection. In this image, we're looking north along the road to property. This is the 700 feet of road frontage on that road. On this road, you have underground telecom lines, water and internet, as well as electricity lines and poles already in place. There are various species of mature trees covering the property. Here, we're looking east at Anderson Creek. This is the portion of the creek that borders the southern boundary of the property. In this image, we're looking south. You can see Sardis Lake in the background. This is southwest of the property looking northeast. You can see Anderson Creek here and the 8.27 acre lot is right here. In this image, we're looking southwest at Wolf Mountain. There are mature trees throughout the Saddle Gap Ranch subdivision. Here, we're looking east. In this image, we're looking southeast over Anderson Creek. 
which you can see right here. These are some Google Earth terrain views of the property. This is south of the property looking north. We have our road frontage mapped out here and Anderson Creek running along the southern boundary of the property. This is northeast of the property looking southwest. You can see Wolf Mountain in the background here. This is north of the property looking south. See Sardis Lake here in the background. And this is southwest of the property looking northeast. These white circles represent nearby landowners who have developed their properties to varying degrees. Here are some photos showing some of those developed properties in the Saddle Gap Branch subdivision, which is where this property is located. As you can see, these homes are nicer and newer in construction. They've used a variety of different materials and architecture styles to construct them. These are the neighbors to the east. This is a neighbor to the southeast. Here are the neighbors to the east. This is a newly constructed home nearing completion to the northeast. Here are more neighbors to the northeast. You can see here it looks like someone is clearing out their property in preparation for construction. They appear to be staying in a travel trailer while they do that, which you are allowed to do temporarily. If you visit the property listing on Landio.com, you can read more about the covenants that have been set in place for the Saddle Gap Ranch Estates subdivision. There is a 1,200 square foot minimum for a one story and a minimum of 900 square feet for a one and a half or two story dwelling. A garage may be counted towards your square foot minimum. This property is intended for residential use. Temporary dwellings such as travel trailers are permitted on the property during the construction process. To read more about the covenants, click here. Property is eight minutes from Yanish, Oklahoma. This is Highway 2 in Yanish. Here's a convenience store with fuel. Here's the view of the inside of that convenience store. You can see they have a cafe here. This is another view of that store. 18 minutes from Clayton, Oklahoma. Clayton has a population of around 800. This is a grocery store with fuel in Clayton. Here's the inside of that store. Here you can find fresh produce and groceries. You can also find a Dollar General in Clayton, restaurants, pharmacy, school, hardware store, bank, and a post office. The property is 22 minutes from the Bowen Hollow State Public Hunting Area. Here you will find many hunting opportunities for white-tailed deer, turkey, bobcat, and dove. The Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation's website has more information on this park. The property is only 23 minutes from Clayton Lake State Park. At Clayton Lake State Park, you can find many recreational opportunities like fishing, hiking, boating, kayaking, and swimming. This is the entrance to the state park. This is the park office. You can rent a cabin here. They have public restrooms and showers. This is a playground area. Here's another view of that playground and picnic area. They have a public boat ramp. Here are some drone images of the lake. You can see the public boat ramp here. At Clayton Lake, you can experience calm, relaxing waters and wildlife activity. Here are some of those cabins that are for rent. You're 25 minutes from Tallahena, Oklahoma. Tallahena has a population of around 1,800. Here you will find a Dollar General, community clinic, gas stations and convenience stores, restaurants, professional services, and more. The property is 30 minutes from the Wachita National Forest. The Wachita National Forest has 1.8 million acres of public land that extends through Oklahoma and Arkansas. Here you will find 192 miles of recreational trails. Here's a map of some of those trails. The property is 33 minutes from Talamina State Park. Here you can experience breathtaking views along the Talamina National Scenic Byway. You are 33 minutes from Wilburton, Oklahoma. Wilburton has a population of 2,600. Here you will find a wellness center, tractor supply company, grocery store and restaurants, family dollar, and a Dollar General. The property is 36 minutes from Robbers Cave State Park. Here you can experience many recreational opportunities. We have this 8.27 acre lot with road frontage, utilities, creek access near Sardis Lake priced at $69,997. We have additional property details on our website. The property taxes are only $136 per year. There is no HOA fee or assessment. We have a detailed description with lots of information. Here are the distances to nearby points of interest. We have links so that you can find out more information about those locations. Here are the GPS coordinates and links so that you can open those on a Google map. We have over 150 images of the property and surrounding areas. All of these images have captions and many of those have labels. If the property is of interest, we highly recommend that you take the time to look through all of these images. They will answer many of the questions you have as well as some that you haven't thought of yet. And if you scroll to the bottom of the page, you will find an interactive map of the property. 
To secure this property, all you have to do is click this green Buy Now button. That is going to add a deposit of $499 to your cart. Once you click the checkout button, this window will appear where you can enter all of your contact information. Click continue to payment, enter your payment information, then complete the checkout process. Your $499 deposit is credited towards your purchase and we cover all of the closing costs. There are no additional commissions or fees, so your total purchase price for the property is the $69,997. The remaining balance can be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, ACH bank draft, credit card, debit card, or any combination of these methods. We make the whole process super simple and the purchase can be completed in as little as a day. If you have any questions, give us a call at any time. Our phone number is at the top of every page on our website. That number is 866-8LANDIO. That's 866-852-6346. That number also receives text messages. You can click this live chat button in the bottom right hand corner to chat with a real person. If we aren't available for whatever reason, please send us a message and we will respond at our next availability. You can also click this inquire now button, fill out this form and we will get back to you as soon as possible. If you have visited our website or watched any of our videos before, we sincerely appreciate your support. If you are new here, consider checking out our testimonial page. On this page you will find many testimonials from Landio customers and you can hear about the experiences that they've had with Landio in their own words. If you would like to receive updates on new properties that are coming available on Landio.com, consider joining our VIP list by adding your email address to this form that can be found at the top of every page on our website. Thank you for watching and God bless. Landio. Land is opportunity. Please click in the upper left hand corner and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In the upper right hand corner we have all of our available properties in a playlist. In the lower right hand corner we have a playlist of our Land is Opportunity series. And in the lower left hand corner we have our Landio and Scripted series.